What is up guys? Uh, back again. So last week I showed you guys I bought this iPod Classic and now that I've been using it for one whole week I want to give you guys my thoughts and impressions of whether uh, going back to this retro tech is really worth it. So let's go with some of the pros. So I got the 120 gig uh, version off eBay for like 65 bucks, 70, something like that. Uh, overall, the condition is not that bad. Uh, you can probably find some. This is the seventh gen. You can probably find some for these at under 100. But if you want a newer condition or a more mint one, you're probably gonna end up spending 100 to 170 on eBay, cause uh, there was a couple that were um, actually most of the uh, mint condition ones were being sold over 100 dollars in auctions and then as buy immediately ones on eBay. On Amazon, they were only like 400 dollars and they were new, I think, I believe. So yeah, so but you can find the fifth everything besides the seventh gen and down you can probably find it uh probably for under a hundred bucks so that's a pretty good positive in my opinion so if you need a media player uh like a not a phone but just like an actual mp3 so i don't know many companies that are doing it anymore so you can probably this is your best bet getting this old um ipod classic as for storage, 120 gigs, you're left with 111 after the operating system and stuff like that. So far, uh, let me pull up my iTunes right here on my computer. On my iTunes, I probably have... Let's go to songs. I probably have... Does it show? No, it doesn't show, but I'm assuming I have over 500 songs. Actually, let's do it right here. Uh, I'll open it up and I'll show you guys uh, how many songs I have. Uh, so, songs. Uh, fuck, where do I go? Okay, so all songs, 652 songs. And as for storage, uh, let's go check that out. Settings. 100 gigabytes free so I have 652 uh, songs I have all of the Harry Potter book series on uh, like audio and I have a whole bunch of other like 10 15 more not, not like 10 probably like six more books that I downloaded on audible not audible but just that I downloaded to my iPod so just with that and I still have a hundred gigs left. I literally don't know what else to fill it with. Uh, I'm trying to find books, podcasts, stuff like that. But if you're if you're needing like a storage device for your MP3, all your songs and everything like that, uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to fit it all in there. Cause 652 songs and probably like uh, 10 books in total, 15 books in total, and I still have a hundred gigs left. I literally don't know what else to fill it with. Uh, next. Next topic, let's talk about the battery. So when I first bought it, I was uh, kind of weary of the battery. Being this, uh, what is this, like a 10 year old device, I was kind of hesitant about how the battery life would last. But so far I'm pretty, pretty impressed. I used it for a full week, for about an hour to an hour and a half at the gym each time. And uh, the battery was was good. It was probably like at 20% by the end of the whole week. And it could, probably could have gone a couple more days. So uh, for battery life, this is very, very good. So if you have it like in your gym bag or something like that, you can use it the whole entire week. And at the end of the week, when you have time, you can finally charge it and do it all again next week without, without having to recharge your 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 phone every night like you do. Another positive that I found out is uh, I personally use this only at the gym and I felt before this I was just using my phone and like AirPods and Spotify. I felt like before I would always constantly be checking my um, my phone for emails, uh, apps, like games and shit like that. Just going like not being productive and just going off and doing other things besides just working out. But with this you're kind of limited. You can't really do much else. 
So if you're someone that you find constantly being distracted by your music and stuff like that, this is a good way to help you ease into not wasting time and being productive on the task that you choose. So I really appreciated that. Uh, another positive thing, let's see. Uh, the build of this. This this is pretty a nice build. Like it feels good in the hand. Um, it the scroll wheel f works fantastic still. Uh, there may be some you find online, but that don't work as well. But just make sure you check the pictures and everything else in that. Uh, just make sure it's good because this scroll wheel, this screen is still as vibrant as ever. Everything still works. And yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with it because you can... This is the lowest brightness also. So let's go turn it up a little higher. So brightness... That's pretty freaking bright right there, and I don't like it that bright. I usually just keep it at the zero mark. And that's just that's just good for me, because anything more than that seems too bright, and it like hurts my eyes and shit, so I just keep it like that. All right, let's go to the negatives. So, negatives I found out. As we all know, Bluetooth and wireless headphones back in 2000 and eight or seven whenever this came out were not as popular as they are now and the thing that kind of annoys me is when i use my wired headphones uh at the gym and i don't like having it in my pocket because i like having my pocket empty when i'm at the gym but the thing that annoys me is that i don't my headphones wherever i place this thing at I can't move more further than my headphones can reach. Like if I'm doing like the rowing machine, it kind of has to be in my pocket or else I'm not going to be able to row back and forth on the machine without this falling around. If I leave it on the side or I put it on the machine, it's going to like tangle and put like snap it or something like that. I don't know if you guys are getting this, but it, it happens a lot. Like if your headphones are not, if your device isn't in your pocket, and you don't and you put it like on the ground or something like you're not going to be able to move a lot unlike headphones bluetooth wireless headphones where you put your phone somewhere you got your headphones on and you can walk around and f be freely so that's one of my major pet peeves uh what else is another pet peeve huh mm, i don't know if i got any looks at this like got looks weird looks from me using this i don't think people care I don't think I care if people look at me using it. Uh, other than that, I really don't see... Oh, okay, maybe a con is for some people, uh, every single time you have to add new songs or delete songs or add content to it, you're going to have to use your iTunes. So that may be annoying to some, but it's really not an issue to me. I don't really care having to plug it in for two seconds, get the song I want, download it, and sync it with the uh, iPod and then call it a day. So that really doesn't bother me. Uh, it may bother you if you don't like doing all that, but for me, it's fine. Uh, second of all, you have to find the 30 pin chargers in order to to charge it. So it, I, I know I haven't had a, a 30 pin charger since my iPod Touch fourth generation. And I was really, really scared I wouldn't be able to find one in uh like a brick and mortar store like Walmart or Target. But thankfully, if you guys uh, have a, like a Walmart nearby, make sure you go check your Walmart. Most Walmarts have them. They're like on the charger section, but they're usually on the floor level, like on the on the shelf all the way at the bottom. That's usually where you're gonna find these types of chargers. But other than that, oh, and the chargers are like four bucks. So they're not that bad. Other than that, I haven't had any complaints about this. I just wish it was a, they do have wireless dongles to like attach it to this and then have like it like receives like it turns in it pairs it with the device and then you can hear your music through there but the device that goes in here is like 60 bucks and for that price i could just buy another one and i just don't really feel like investing 60 bucks onto just a little bluetooth transmitter or there's some that go up here but i, I don't know i haven't had, found a reliable one so to answer the um, question, should you buy an iPod Classic in 2019? Well, if you don't mind using wired headphones, because I wouldn't mind it if I'm um, 
not at the gym, which I might start using it at school, just putting it in my back pocket or my backpack and listening through that, then I wouldn't mind uh, the non-Bluetooth. But if you need, if you are someone that needs Bluetooth and likes the freedom of walking around, then this might not be right for you. Second of all, uh, finding a good one is somewhat hard. Just look around eBay. Amazon's probably not going to be the right choice, but eBay will have a whole bunch. Uh, just make sure you check the condition. I I messaged the seller right before I bought it to see if they hold the charge. If it doesn't, there's also a really good video on how to replace the battery and how to turn it into a, add micro SDs instead of the uh, hard drive that it has right now because it's an actual physical hard drive in there that spins. So that will wear out with time and I'm pretty sure mine is going to go sometime soon. I don't really hear the drive spinning but it's been 10 years and I don't know how much longer they last for but if they do break down I'm going to be doing a video on how to open this up, uh, changing the battery and also adding micro SD storage. So I put like a 256 gig just to overkill it. But that is a negative because a lot of them are not going to be in as pristine condition as 10 years have well hmm how do I say this so 10 years ago they were new they were in pristine condition and now 10 years after like most technology when it age it uh, deteriorates and battery life and everything like that you're not gonna have the same battery life if you get a used one as a new one as you would have 10 years ago but you can fix that like I said with a YouTube video open it up switch a battery bam brand new so that may not be a con for you and lastly uh, if you're someone that cares I personally find it cool like this retro tech I, I personally find it really cool but if you're someone that cares about like your image nowadays so uh, I don't know how people see it here and where I live I don't feel like anyone cares so uh, if you're someone, if you're like in high school or some shit like that, where if you pull that out and everyone's like, oh my god, what is that? Uh, I mean, then this might not be for you. Uh, if you have a, a smaller playlist and you don't have too much music and stuff like that, then you're better off just not investing in this. So just get like a, use, use your phone at that point. And yeah, so I personally... If it's right for you, then you should definitely get it, and I really like it. I'm going to be using a lot more just to keep it in the car, to use it like a, as a book reader, or as a podcast, or just having a good playlist, because sometimes when I'm driving, I don't get good connection, and uh, my connection goes out, and then it sucks, and I just, I don't know, I hate it. So, yeah, definitely, if you guys like it, pick one up. It's not, it's not crazy. Just pick one up, try it out. I'm sure you'll love it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And comment down below what you guys want to see. If you want to see more iPod Classic videos. I got, I don't know, I, have, I don't have that much ideas. I'm going to do a back to school haul pretty soon. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.